right so when you see something like this on chromatography so this is called a start line and this is called a solvent front so if this is a start line it's more like a cup it's more like a cup it's more like a cup like this okay so this is called a start line then here down it is called a solvent front so if you put substances here on a cup you put a b and c so if a and b so if a the substances that have gone down meaning they have dissolved they have gone down the cup okay but if substance b they're just at the starting line meaning they did not dissolve they are what they are insoluble if you get a cup this is a start line okay if you put water in cooking oil, you'll find that water will be down, cooking oil will be up, meaning cooking oil is insoluble, meaning it is not what? Dissolve. It is same with this. So, substance X. You check, you go like this, substance X. So, it has a car, it has a component of what? Uh, blue. So, if you check from that question, the first question was saying, which substance is insoluble so you check which one is in the line substance a okay substance b it has dissolved you've seen substance b the spot has gone down it has dissolved like it has gone down the cup substance c it has also gone down it has dissolved but substance a it is just at the line meaning it is insoluble meaning it is what insoluble so the first question is saying, state which substance, which unknown component was insoluble. So it's A. Then they're saying, explain. This is because substance A has not moved from the starting point. This is because substance A has not moved from a starting point. Okay. Then the higher the substance moves, the more soluble it is. So which one was more soluble here? So you find if this is a cup, okay, so the higher it goes down, the more soluble. If it is up here, meaning it is insoluble, but the higher it goes down, meaning the more soluble the substance is. So the other question was saying, which substance was not contained in substance X? Which substances was or were not contained in X? So you check X. This is a dye for X. What substance does it have? So you go straight, B. So substance X, B was contained. So B was contained in substance X. But the question is that which substance or substances were not contained? So if you check A, A it is not in the same line with spot B and C. So meaning A and C were not contained were not contained in substance x okay the other question is saying find the rf value rf means retardation factor is equals to distance moved by the spot over distance moved by the solvent okay so, and the question is saying, find the retardation factor of component B. So, you check. If they have given you the total here from the starting line to the, to the solvent front, they have said it is 28. Then, from this point to this point, they are saying it is 7. So, meaning from this point to down, you say 28 minus 7, which will give you 21. So, from here... To here it is 21 because you're sub when you add 21 and, tw and 7 it's supposed to give you the total which is 28 so find the RIF value of B so B spot has moved from this point to this point so B has moved from this point to this point so meaning the value of B is 21 so you say it will be 21 centimeters over the distance moved by the solvent, the total distance, which will be 28 centimeters. So you say RF value will be equals to 1, 3, which is 0 
5. So the RF value is 0 0.75. Okay, thank you for watching.